Lewis, good morning. It's me back, Analog Attack, and I'm delighted to tell you that Pete Larson is back with us. Morning, Pete. Morning. How you doing, Mike? How are you? Super good. It is, and it is morning over here. Let me tell you. I, I believe you. It's it's what, it's not what morning here. What, what time is it over there? Uh, six seventeen. Six seventeen. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Eighteen. Wow. Well, what are we doing today? We're going to talk about African music, African records, right? We're, that's, that's, what we, that's what I've been told. I, yes, so I can't think of anyone better than your good self to talk about this. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're going to share a lot of your knowledge. My, 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 the knowledge I have. The knowledge you have. Yeah. The knowledge you have. Yeah. <laughs> so Pete, you lived in Kenya for quite a few years, right? Yeah, lived in, lived in Nairobi. So can you tell us a little can you tell us a little bit about the music scene in Kenya? Kenya is Kenya's, you know, it's it's a, a really sort of diverse and and sort of fractured country. There's a lot of different ethnic groups and and you know different types of people there. There's rich people, poor people, there's everything every kind of thing there. So the right. music scene's kind of all over the place. You know, there's like, you know, traditional, you know, music you'd hear on like a folkways record or something like that. And Right. There's like, you know, guitar music and, you know, there's, there's a tiny, tiny, small metal scene, you know, there's wow. like a lot of reggae, there's like all kinds of stuff going on over there. So, well, wow. how about you know. uh, record shops, record shops, many good record shops? Uh, there is, there's two, yeah, there's Jimmy's, Jimmy's records oh. um, in, in Kenyatta Market, who like, he's a friend of mine and, and he does a great job selling old vinyl, you know. Like is that vinyl, the one like, that, that the, maybe the Guardian or a newspaper did it? Yep, that's Jimmy. Beach on, okay, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Jimmy's kind of the place to go. You know, like if you're interested in like old Congolese rumba records or old Kenyan right. guitar records, like that's kind of the place right. to go. Nice. And then my friend Abdul runs a place called Melodica Music uh, in in downtown, and well, he sells a lot of old Kenyan records. Like we'll put things on CD for you or on on a thumb drive. You know, if you're interested. And you know, they've well, been putting out records since the 1940s, I believe. Wow. Long time, yeah. Is there any truth uh, to that thing that we always hear about that like all the old uh, African records are being bought up by kind of French and German record collectors and it's pretty dry out there as far as old records go? I think there's some, there's some truth to that, but yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's not, not a wholly lost cause because okay. like, what's going on now is a lot of people are, you know, their parents are passing on. You know, right. and and the kids don't know what to do with their parents' record collections, and so those are those are popping up. Like Jimmy just did a big buy, at like from an estate sale, and mm -hmm. just came up with tons of records. So there's still definitely stuff out there. You know, well, cool, cool. The Germans nice. and the Swedes have definitely, you know, you know, like raked, you know, the best of the best. But there's right. still stuff out there for sure. Um, usually these records are not uh, in mint condition are they very rarely like mm. almost never like they were you know their records they were they were meant to be played and right yeah and, and they were played you know over yeah, yeah. and over and over again cool. and cool. and so yeah. the records you find are like you know look like somebody took sandpaper right with yeah you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. mud and, you know yeah yeah great but that's, that's part of the charm yeah me. i think so too. yeah i think so too all right so you've got a pile of records I, I got I've, four piles of records, yeah. Four piles of records. I've got one pile, but it's a big pile. So we'll go back and forth and show some records and have a little chat. Tell so me. we talked about Kenya. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of my entry into... Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, are you familiar with like most, most of the bands on this record? Are they kind of big bands. Yeah, so it's like I think, I think it's a mix of like banga and like Congolese yeah. rumba, like guitar That's music. What it says, yeah. So you've got bands like uh, the Lloyd Toki Tok, mm -hmm. uh, Gatanga Boys Band, mm -hmm. Lulu's Band. Were they yep. quite a big band? Yeah, oh, all yeah. those bands I mean, are big. They got Lake, Lake Victoria All Stars and. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, this is this was kind of my first, you know. Introduction to Kenyan music, triple LP, 
old stuff from the 70s and 80s. Beautiful. It's, this is a uh, yeah, sound way. That's, that's a really, that's a, that's a, that's a, I got to say, that's a perfect introduction. Like, you know, really? Really, like, if you want to know about Kenya music from the 70s and 80s, that's like, that really was what was, what was going on. So I, I made mean, a good choice. You did. There but, was like. The volume two. There you, <laughs> there you go. Volume two is also a triple LP from the 70s and 80s. Again, Lula's band, Bahari Boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are Victoria think, B. Kings on there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but yeah, great, great series. I mean, two triple LPs. I mean, amazing. This one has yeah. a, bo a bonus seven inch with it, too. So, oh wow, that's cool. Great stuff. Yeah. So, Pete, what's first up in your pile there, mate? Dude, I think we gotta stick with with Kenya. Okay, let's do that. You know. Like this, you know, it's a reissue record that my friend Cyrus over at Mississippi Records, um, um, you know, put together. Mm. Uh, George Mukabe, he was a guitar player back in the 1940s and 50s, um, who was inspired by all these Malawian uh, guitar players and wrote like, you know, did like 30 all smash hits back in the 50s and 60s. And oh. sadly was killed in a family dispute in, in 19, like he was, I think he was like 33 years old, but oh. like still his songs to this day, you know, are mm. some of the most famous songs in Kenya. Oh. That's super cool. 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 George Mukabe. That's all Mississippi records, right? Uh, yeah. No, Raw Music International, Mississippi records. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Cyrus Ooh. went out there and did like some interviews with people out there. So there's a lot of nice printed material on the stuff, and Ooh. yeah, super good. No, so a lot, a lot of my records, they're all like these compilations. I try to not pick up too many of those. You know, mm -hmm. the an Analog Africa. I mean, they're all great, but uh, yeah, I think yeah. Well, this is good because it's one guy. That, that's right. Yeah, yeah, by yeah. one guy, you know. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> and like they did really did a good job on the um on the I'm gonna drop it the uh the label oh cool yeah kind of upside yeah. down probably right i'm afraid it's gonna fall out oh okay now yeah yeah cool. yeah so it's like old school you know style label cool yeah it's cool this is a good one highly recommend Great. okay i'll watch the video later so pete nia tt you're kind of a master of the instrument. Have, Not you, got, a have, you, got, have you got it with you? <laughs> My house is only like, you know, a meter <laughs> wide. So it's like <laughs> everything is within reach. Yeah. <laughs> so I tried to include a Nia TT record to show. Okay. And would you approve of this one? Oh. <laughs> yeah? yeah? No? Yeah, yes. It's my friend. Are you friend are you friends with this guy, the guy Joseph? Yeah. You know him? Oh, yeah, so this, absolutely. I've been to his, so he's like, his house. He's, because the other, the other guys in the band are like European, right? British? They're all Brits. And then he's Kenyan, right? He's Kenyan. He's Kenyan. Yeah. But I bought this really for the art, the cover. It's amazing. He was a boxer. Oh, okay. That's why. That's this is a great record. He was a professional actually, other, boxer. Wow. In Uganda. Actually, the other, the other album is actually better, but I just chose this one because of the art. It looks better. Yeah, I, I first saw that like like when I met him when I went to his house, then met him. He busted that out and and really? you know, like raucous <laughs> laughter everywhere. Like, <laughs> it's such a great cover and that that kind of like this kind of like new wavy punky yeah. kind of logo, amazing. Power punch, yeah. Power punch. <laughs> Pete, can you can you can you tell us a little bit about the Niatiti? What's it all about? Uh, so Nyamungu is one of the you know he's an old guy. He's he's not my right. teacher, but but my right. teacher is his teacher. So right. like, Nyamungu and I are like brothers in that sense, you know. Okay. And this is the Niatiti, you know, the bowl. Like this. that's a different one. That's a different one to the one you had in, when you came to Japan. Is you just painted it, or it's a different no, one, right? I have I have like twenty of them. 
Oh, and damn. Man, yeah. Wow. This, this is my main instrument now. Wow. Yeah. And you're one of like only a few players in the world. Am I right in saying that? There's only about 25 or so. And maybe among those, there's only about, you know, eight or 10 of us that play live. Amazing. So what kind of distinguishes the Nietzsche from other like string instruments? What, what's it all about? It's a lyre, you know? Okay. So it's not fretted or anything. So right. Just, you know, pluck the strings. And right. there's all different versions of the Nietzsche like all throughout East Africa, up into Egypt, right. Syria, and Greece, and so. What, okay. Mm -hmm. what, what does what does Joseph play? Like one similar to that, or? Yeah, he plays in Atiti. His his yeah. he claims his is two hundred years old. I don't I don't quite believe it, but he claims that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's he's one of the best. You know, uh, he's like you know mid sixties and like you know. Does he like, do he, records? Does he do records like? without this band um he has uh, mm. but he seemed to have done the most with oina sagoma because of, of okay. tom york like tom york basically okay. set like their tour uh, up and and you know really playing out in Europe a lot for a while oh wow. cool and he actually like opened up a radiohead show damn so he's always like you know my manager is tom york that's what he always likes to say <laughs> then he like I guess person I that passes by I guess um, what's his name? Damon from Blur also has his label, right? He puts out. Mm -hmm. What's his What's his label? I forgot. I don't know. Yeah. No, got it. Anyway, what do you got next? Next record. Oh, okay. Show, show us a record. Uh, well, I think it's gonna, turn. this this is like. I think this is a great record, mm -hmm. and but you could see it in a dollar bin in just about any record store around the world. It's kind of take it out of the plastic. <clears throat> like it's an old record on none such. Uh, I think I've definitely seen that. In Africa, this unit. Witchcraft and ritual music from Kenya and oh, Tanzania. Damn. <clears throat> wow. And it's actually like, you know, I don't think it's at all witchcraft music at all, but you know, to sell it, they probably put that on there. But it's just like, you know, cool field recordings, you know, of, of traditional musicians back in the 1950s. Oh. You know, this guy, David something, I can't remember his name, uh, Britt went out there and, and into the middle of nowhere and started recording people out there. But it's just, you know, despite oh. the kind of disturbing racist, like, title, you know, right. <laughs> it's actually right. a great record. Uh, so it's from all Tanzanian? Kenyan and Tanzanian. Okay. So I was going to ask you about Tanzania. Tanzania. I think we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. Like, there just um, there isn't much music from Tanzania or like you can't there's no analog Africa like Tanzanian you know I don't think Tan Tanzania outside of Zanzibar mm. Zan Zanzibar is an island off Tanzania and, and right. Tanzania never didn't have a record industry like Kenya yeah Kenya had one of the biggest record industries in, in on the continent you know outside of right. South Africa and right. Tanzania, you know, for whatever reason, because the Brits, you know, just didn't put a whole lot into the country like they did Kenya, you know, because they just sort of got it by default from the Germans, you know. Um, right. You know, it wasn't a financial, it wasn't like an economic center. So, like, I don't think there was a whole lot of people buying records or making records there. So, okay. yeah, lots of, you know, definitely lots of music, you know. But no records. Music, not, not a whole lot of Not so many records. Okay, yeah. I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to talk about a couple of guitarists i guess awesome first pick's kind of obvious but i love this guy uh john pill used to play him a lot the king oh sunny Ade. yeah wow. i mean he's, he was a huge star right mm -hmm. back in the day totally. i've got records but like in the 80s um he kind of started to introduce some really kind of like rudimentary uh, synths and el electronic sounds, which I know you're not a fan of, but I love this record. It's got all these boo, 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 <laughs> you know, that thing going on in there. But it really works. I love it. It's a great record. It's really catchy. It's a really fun record. Wow. Like 1983, major label, Island Records. But great. What a great guitarist. I, lo I love his sound. I'm, I'm, I'm really into the clothes. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's cool too. So, what this is juju music? Am I right? 
in saying that? Is that what they call this kind of music? No. Yeah, I think that yeah. like, juju music is kind of like, you know, encompasses a lot of things, you know. Okay. Like, it's kind of pop, really. Isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of, yeah. It, historically, it was just guitar music, you know, like guys okay. would, you know, sing songs on the guitar. Right. You know, that was called what was called juju music, but obviously, right. okay. you know, things change. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I love this guy. And then something a bit more contemporary, I guess. Oh, I don't know this one. Yeah, this is one of uh, Sublime Frequencies group in Arane Guitars from Agadez, Volume mm -hmm. 3. It's that desert, they call it like Desert Blues. Oh, it's like kind of Western. Thing. Look at this man, this great. So this is. Uh... Oh, it's sick. Super yeah, good. amazing. So good. And then what's on the gatefold? Yeah, yeah. Wait, sorry. Wait, wait. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's really psychedelic, you know, obviously influenced by Hendrix and stuff like that with their own, you know, Twirling. their own. Yeah. Twirling. I love all that. Stuff. Yeah, I love all that. Stuff. I didn't pick out too many of those kind of records, just this one, but great mm -hmm. guitarist. I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, yeah. Sublime Frequencies. I think there, there's three volumes of, of this band. This is wow. the third one. So yeah, great record. What you got next, Pete? Well, on that, I've got this record. Liz, like, I can't speak French, so Liz Files right. de Illegadad. Il okay, so that's a new also, one. Also Malian, but they're, they're, they're ladies. You know, as wow. you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they play like like that kind of style of music, like that record you held up, you know, but right. it's like kind of them like on acoustic guitars, you know, sitting around playing the stuff. And, oh. you know, it's just as like, you know, technically amazing and, you know, really cool, like easy breezy mm. sort of yeah. you uh, know, yeah. beats and oh, mm. they're super good. Great band. What labels, what labels that on? This is on Sahel Sounds. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. Wow. Is that all the members of the group on the back yep. there? Yeah. Huh? We were supposed to. We were supposed to play with them this past really? uh, May, but it got canceled because of COVID. Yeah. Right. Wow. That was unfortunate. Are they gonna reschedule that tour? I hope so. I hope so. You know, like they were gonna play at Third Man. You know, like Third Man Records. Like right. They have yeah. A yeah. Live, live house. You know, space. Wow. Yeah. They're probably going to do like a live record out of it. It would have been really cool. And oh, man. Yeah, well, unfortunately. Oh, well. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go to Mali, too, for my, ne my next record. We, we could do this a whole record. show on Mali. Well, yeah, yeah. I, did, I just picked out, I think I've got just two, I think, from Mali. So this is contemporary. You know, I, I've, I picked out that record, too. That's in my what? stack. Here. What? An absolute a ripper. <laughs> it's a, it's an it's absolute so burner. Fun. It's a thrash. It's a thrash record. It's like, it's, it's so amazing. <laughs> it is unbelievable. I mean, but the cover it just doesn't really, you know, really, I don't know, not it's much going perfect. on. But like, oh, man. I mean, um, unbelievable. Absolutely. But, uh, so he plays the how do you Ngoni? Ngoni. Right. He, that's the instrument he plays, right? Yeah. It's like a, like a three Tough. string. Three string okay. banjo kind of thing. Is it any? Is it kind of uh, related to the Nieti thing? No. Totally no. different. Totally different. Yeah. It's like a guitar. He, yeah. He hooks his up to like distortion pedals and stuff, right? <laughs> he does it upright. <laughs> I've got another one of his records. It's not quite as good. This one is. Oh man. That's that's a burner. Seriously, a everybody, what, everybody is watching. Buy this record. It is. It, it, it'll blow your socks off really i mean unbelievable Crazy. absolutely agree yeah, yeah. Top notch. and then That's i chose nice. an older an older record from marley i guess this band was kind of classic band the ra the rail band wow nice yeah. oh, they that was play. Super cool. yeah this is a reissue obviously but uh yeah really funky i think they I don't know the history. Didn't they just used to play in hotels and stuff, right? Back in the day, kind of like a hotel band, mm -hmm. but really funky, like high energy. 
music, great stuff. I think wow. from the seventies or early eighties. Have you heard this beat? I haven't heard that one. No. Oh, uh, great stuff. That looks awesome. Yeah. The rail band, yeah, yeah. What's so on the back? A, is it a full album or is it a collection of singles? It, it, no, it's a full album. Okay. It, it's a total repro of the original. It, I thought I'd got an original when I bought it, but obviously it's not. It's a reissue, right. but yeah. yeah. I'm sure somebody told well, you it was original. Super, super fly records. Okay. Yeah, but amazing. Nice. The rail band from Mali. Seven nice. Killer. Killer, killer, killer. All right, Pete, what's next? What you got? <laughs> Well, you know, I can't, I can't pull this out. Oh, yes, we can. Out. Let's talk about him again. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> can't get enough of that guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, I guess like, you know, while we're on this, you know, I guess we just mm. got to get it over with, right? Like these guys, okay. like these Tuareg okay. guys, you know, Bambino oh, wow. and Idu Mokhtar. Uh, that was one of my f favorite records from, it was last year, right? Mm -hmm. the, the Mokhtar record was from oh, last year, Oh, this was last year, yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite records from last year killer record this Tons one is just like as good oh really yeah same kind of thing same kind of style same kind of thing but you know like mdu is, is a little more you know adventurous you know right but, you know he's like 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 much more skilled if you know what i mean right. okay but yeah both amazing for different reasons one thing. you know cool but i got it signed like a lot of guy people i mean <laughs> on the, i'm I'm in this Caius group on Facebook, mm -hmm. and like so many Caius fans love that Mokhtar record. They're like, that was their best, their favorite record from last year. Yeah, that one. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally good. Yeah, they're like the real, like, what was it? Uh, desert, desert rock, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The true desert rock. True desert rock. <laughs> well, they're actually in the desert. No, no Josh Homme on that record. <laughs> <laughs> then I got. Oh, what else you got? I got this. This is like on um, awesome tapes from Africa. Oh, Nahawa Dumbia. Cool. She is a Malian singer, um, you know, from cool. Mali, obviously. It was like a yeah. movie actress and did a bunch of things. But this was like, this record was probably recorded in some cement box in Mali somewhere, you know, back in right. the 1970s or whatever. And, and it's just a ripper. Like, she's just like howling at the top of her lungs, like, you know. Sort of like I you think, can see, hear her moving mm, around the room. It's super good. I think Marley might be at the top of my sort of favorite. So much good stuff from Marley. Oh, it's endless. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that compilation with the guys on the the motorbikes, the bikes on the cover. You mm. know that one? Yeah, that's so good. I didn't show that, but uh, that's that's a great record. Yeah, all, yeah. all those Marley and bands are great. Amazing. Yeah. So, what have I got yeah. next? Uh, Somalia, the Dodo band. Great play. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good kind one. of reminds me, kind of similar to the Rail Band. You know, high energy, funky, kind of funky. good time music. Yep. This is obviously just a collection. Yeah, again, they from Mogadishu, and they just tended to play like a, uh, in hotels and stuff. I think. Yeah, this is from the early eighties, but. Uh, Really powerful, good time, totally. funky, great band. Somal there, Somalia there. is like another place that like there is just mountains of music. There's right. so much good stuff out of Somalia, but like not a whole lot of it's made like it over here. You know, it's right. like among mm -hmm. you know white people. Like I think this might be the only Somalian record that I have. I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's not many in print. Right, I got this uh, Maroka Batsu. Found this okay. Yeah, cool. Is that on Ostinato? What, is, what label is that on? Man, it's Awesome Tapes from Africa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the same as the record you just showed, right? Yeah. Yeah, great great label. Okay, Pete, what's next in your, in your four piles? Now my piles are all kind of messed up. But <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to hold up this one on Nyege Nyege. Oh. Out of oh, I remember you talking about that. The Kuka. That one. Mm. He's like a, 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 what do you call it, a thumb piano player from northern Uganda. Huh? And like he's still alive and still playing, you know, but it's like all this, all the songs in this record were recorded 
by fans listening to him play live on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me about that record. Yeah, yeah. And like, you can hear people like laughing and like talking in the background, like, because they're like hanging out in their house, listening to this, like recording on like a shitty, like cassette, <laughs> you know, recorder. Right. He had, no, he had no records. Like he didn't right. actually put anything out. Um, so like, like, I guess the nigga nigga people like, you know, sort of solicited, asked for, mm. you know, people to like, you know, produce their favorite Ikuka tapes and they like you know of course like were inundated with a mountain of tapes and had to go through it right like, it's super oh. lo-fi you know so really freaky Peter record. Hoflick Peter Hoflick's not gonna like that record He's is he definitely not gonna like this yeah sorry Pete <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey Pete how you I think, doing I, I think there's a copy of that in Disc Union at the moment I'm gonna have to pick it up yeah, my, my, I'm sure it'll get marked down pretty soon. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Double record, two records. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Now, all the, every, like, a, lot, a lot of the stuff that Nigga Nigga is re doing is really great. Cool. You know, they just put out a, like a, a record by this grindcore duo out of Nairobi. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Do you have that? I, I haven't heard it yet. Oh, I haven't heard wow. it yet. But, you know, they're like, you know, these two guys, they had this like two person grindcore band and I Amazing. was, you know, really in intrigued by it. I can't remember what it's called. Do Dem Dubia, something like, I can't remember, but it just came out. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Could Technically make Uganda. Possible. Okay. Yeah. Label cool. says they're from Uganda. We can discuss that later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to move to Ethiopia. Not okay. literally, not literally, just... <laughs> so it would be a good retirement for you mike yeah yeah, yeah it, would, it would it would so this guy is one of my favorite sax players of all time for me he's up there with ornette coleman mm -hmm. john coltrane mm -hmm. and this is kind of a a weird record i guess oh nice yeah so it's get at you mercuria this is quite a contemporary record but he teamed up with the x you know, oh okay. And, uh, the Dutch, Marco the Dutch, punk band, Dutch avant-garde uh, punk band. He, he has just like the best sax tone like ever. I mean, it's up there with Ferro Sanders wow. for me. I mean, just amazing. Yeah, the, like there's a compilation of like all his old stuff. This is more contemporary. I think it's from the early 2000s. But there's a bonus LP on this edition, which has a bunch of his old old recordings on it, without without the X and stuff. So. So is it like, I mean, is it like it's, Ethiopian jazz or is it like? No, yeah, it's uh -huh. kind of weird. It's, I mean, it's got the X backing him. So it's kind of got that angular, you know, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, I mean, look, that's, that's like, it's a big band. Wow. You can't really call it Ethio jazz. It's kind of, yeah. I don't know. They're it's, a bunch of Dutch guys. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, but amazing kind of hard to get i don't know why but uh well i gotta yeah, check I just, it out yeah amazing I, I prefer his old stuff but this is still a great record cool e ethiopia is up there as well isn't it but, but oh it's, it's endless just endless endless um so i just chose one more from ethiopia because there's so many oh i got that in my pile too yeah bring it out yeah. bring it out yeah what a great record that's a good one yeah yeah. I saw him last year what yeah. Really? Where? In Ann Arbor? In Detroit. In Detroit. So he was uh, like hired to play this right. bong making festival. You know, like bongs, <laughs> like you smoke. Yeah. Like for some reason he was like playing this bong making festival. What? <laughs> <laughs> How old is he now? Because he's not even young in this picture. Like, I mean... uh, he's he's probably seventy. I would say he's okay. seventy. I okay. talked to him for a little bit. You know, he's okay. he's like a taxi driver down in DC. Okay. You know, and... oh, he lives he lives in the states. Yeah, well, that's how that this, that record you have came into being was that like wow. he was a he's a taxi driver in DC. You know, like a lot of Ethiopians right. are, and. Right one of his fares was was like looking at like his id thing and it said you know hi lumergia right and, and like you know the guy was like looking at him was like wait are you are you the hi lumergia <laughs> he's like he's like yeah, yeah. 
He's like, why don't, you know, like, what are you doing now? He's like, I'm driving cab. <laughs> and he's like, well, why don't you like, you know, play again? Like and, Bong Festival? <laughs> yeah, play the Bong Festival. And he's like, he's like, well, nobody's asked me. What? Yeah. Dang. He had been he here for a, decades. Was he a big, big name in Ethiopia at the time? Absolutely. Huge. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, yeah. But had to leave because of the government, you know, because right. of you know, yeah. the authoritarian government. That music scene, whatever you want to call it, was really short lived, wasn't it, in Ethiopia? Kind of really short span and then just kind of just, it just vanished, right? Short and extremely prolific. Like yeah. A lot of yeah. stuff came out in a short amount of time. I've got tons of Ethiopian records. I didn't want to There's show too many. Endless. There's yeah. Endless. endless. But yeah. Amazing. But, but he, How would he's, you... he's like next level. I mean, that's like genius. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This is, a, I would, for any viewers watching, I, yeah, this will be another top, top recommendation. Right? Totally. 100%. And there's that Ethiopics uh, series too, right? A lot of it's yeah. CD only. Mm -hmm. But there's this little box set that, Oh, cool! It's got like it's got the repros. I, I'll get them out. It's got uh, some mulatto astakes on there. Yeah, so they got yeah. You know, there's a repro that nice. Get yeah, get at you, Mercuria, seven inch, and then man, sorry, I'm a bit slow. No, you're what good. Else? Uh, okay. No, you're not, not I, taking my time. All right. <laughs> nice. Not sure what that is. Yeah, Mulata Astake. That's great. It's even got like Harambi Music Shop, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Nice. So it's, yeah, exact repros of the singles, I guess. Um, so. Wow. Ale mai ue hu eshete. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I just. Mahmoud, Mahmoud Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. Wow. This oh, this is probably my favorite. This one. <laughs> See, <Sima. laughs> Yeah, I've got the LP. It's got an LP too. It's okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then one more. Ali Mohammed. Nice. Pira. Oh, that's a cool yeah. picture. There's a volume two as well, box set. I haven't got that, but Cute. really nice. On this, all these stickers as well. Like every, each one's got like a little sticker. Wow. Which, like, yeah, really, really well done. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know about you, but like, you know, whenever I get stickers with a, <laughs> in a record like that and they only give me one, like I never really know, like why did you send me a sticker? I'm not going to stick it on anything. If you send me two, uh -huh. I will. You know, <laughs> send me two, I will. If you send me one, I'm not, like, no, it's just gonna sit there. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's just personal. 20 bucks, 20 bucks spin sent me two when I ordered some records from them. Yeah, they give you two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Seasons yeah. of Mist will give you two. Cool, cool. I, I give you, I give people two. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't to. support, don't support record labels that don't give you two stickers. Yeah, right. See, right, two stickers. The two stickers in every record, yeah. <laughs> one for yourself and one for a friend. <laughs> well, you, so you can stick it on something, like you right? Have yeah, one, yeah. like not gonna like, <laughs> especially if you're a record collector, like forget it. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. <laughs> okay, I think Pete, it's your turn, right? Uh, have you got anything? Anything else? I got lots of stuff. What do I got? Oh, so like I, while we're up there, oh. you know, Ethiopia. Somalia. Oh, there you go. This is a Sudanese wow. record. Uh, oh. on that label ostinato like right. Abu, Abu Obaida Hassan he played the tambour which is like kind of similar to the Nyatiti right there's a picture of him in here playing it yeah here it is in the back oh cool 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 yeah it's kind of oh. similar yeah and he like Sudan Sudanese music is, is really amazing like here's a picture which is better oh man that's really cool yeah. 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 I so he, don't think I have any Sudanese records. I'm not sure. Get this well, one. Okay. Get this okay. one. This is a good one. It's kind of oh. like, you know, it's it's like like kind of like Ethiopian music in a lot of ways. Mm, right. It's got like this kind of like you know mambo kind of rumba kind of feel to it. You know. Yeah. 
dance feel and like a lot of chants and that kind of thing. It's super good. Like Ooh. he was on TV, like, you know, back in the seventies is like huge star back then. And right. yeah. Killer record. Highly recommended. Nice. Abu Ubaidah Hassan. Cool. And I was in DC this past November, I think. Mm -hmm. And like, we got a cab and I was, you know, like, was often, no, he wasn't driving, but like, you know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, hey man, where are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm from Sudan. And I was like, oh, do you know Abu Abida Hassan? And he's like, he's like, he started freaking out. He's like, what, what, did, how do you know about that <laughs> stuff? And so he just like, like started like sending me all these like, you know, YouTube links to all this like Sudanese stuff that's all, you know, written in Arabic. So I can't read it. You know, I would never be able to right. search for it. And he's like, check this out, check this out, check this out. And like sending me all this Tom Bohr music. Man, you know, my old neighbor was Sudanese. But okay. he knew nothing. Yeah, he of knew course nothing. Not. Yeah. It was, yeah, I was like, hey, you must know this guy. He's like, no. No. Like, never heard of him. He, so, I like, I like, so I like Eric Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even, so, even Ken, I mean, like, you know, I mean, this is true in Japan or the States or uh -huh. England, anywhere. Like, you know, a lot of people are just sort of like ignorant of their own countries, like, I mean, you know, cultural greats. <laughs> never heard Void I mean, that's not going to happen, right? Never would happen. There's no never. way a Canadian. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know anyone <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, I can't think of a more important band from Canada, you know, like, everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talking about heavy music, we can't, we've got to talk about Zamrock, right? A little bit. Absolutely. I just chose two records. The Ngozi family. Oh, that's a good one. Day of Judgment. Record. What What do you think of Sam Rock, Pete? I'm, I'd like it, but it is kind of Western Western music, really, right? It's not, you know what I mean? It's kind of like Blue Cheer, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, so I got the story. I was, I was in Zambia a few years ago. Oh, right. And, and our taxi driver was the <laughs> you're, son. You're always in the taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a car. <laughs> Who was driving? <laughs> well, it was the son of like one of the guys from 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 which? Uh, yeah, well, be right. which? <laughs> it was the son of like like the singer from which? Who like I was like I was like I was like what do you know about Zamrock? He's like oh my father was in which, and I was like what? And he's like yeah my dad, and so like you know I was like well why you know why does you know why does why does like Zamrock you know sound like mm -hmm. you know Western psychedelic rock music and he's like well right. at the time like we were going through this kind of revolution and on the radio they were playing like Jimi hendrix right and so that was like the, the sort of soundtrack to their like political revolution like it was thought to be right. revolutionary music and they just kind of pulled it over so right, like right. all these bands just started playing that stuff you know they were like yeah. this is you know i mean it's good i love it but i sometimes think would people you know, like it if it like wasn't from Zambia in yeah. the seventies. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, you know, I mean, this, this is a great record, well, probably one of the best Zam rock records. But you know, if this was like had come out of you know, like I don't know, Bournemouth in England, I don't think people would be, you know. Yeah, it'd be like the Wicked Lady. Yeah, 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 like something like that. Yeah, it'd Good. be like the Wicked yeah. Lady. Wicked Lady, yeah, 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 the yeah. Witch and the Wicked Lady, yeah. Like, like, not, not, not a super great band, you know. But yeah, right. you know, you got the record sitting around, just yeah. You know. I, I like Wicked Lady though. Wicked All Lady right. aren't bad. I'm not saying they're bad. Yeah, you know, but, but it's it, like not, it's not phenomenal. It's kind of inept. Great guitarist though. Yeah, that's true. Like, crazy. Yeah. Crazy guitar. Pete, I've got one more record. Okay. So you want to show anything else? Have you got anything else? And then I'll uh, show my. Let's see what I got here. I don't know. I, th I think that, you know, I think this needs to be shown. Uh, this is a really good record. It is. You know what? I didn't like it. it like, I didn't like it at first as much as the, la the ones before it, but mm -hmm. it really grew on me. And I think now it's probably my favorite of all his this records. This is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Because when, when I saw him two years ago in Tokyo mm -hmm. at Blue Note, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, pretty much all the set list was from that record, and I was kind of disappointed. Do you know what I mean? Because 
that record had just come out and I wasn't really familiar with, you know, the songs song. yet. Oh. I was kind of, oh, well, you know, he's not playing any of my favourites from the, the older records, but uh, I'd like to see him again now that I'm more sort of familiar with that record. So was, that, was that the tour where he had the 14-piece band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played like two or three nights in a row at the Bruna, but it was just a terrible place. and Everyone's sitting really? down, you know, oh, eating, no. eating dinner and stuff. And what? Yeah, like my friend Jay said, "Oh man, why did? Because I'd never been there." And he's like, mm. "Oh man, why did they? Why did they do it there? It's like the worst kind of venue to have, you know, saying Kuti because just everyone sat down." I mean, he kind of got off the stage. He was like, um, walking across people's tables and drinking their beer and stuff. Yeah, of like, course. Trying, trying to get everyone going. I m went backstage because I went with Aya, um, mm -hmm. okay. so went backstage, met him. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So people weren't but having I, it. Yeah, I was disappointed though because he played, you know, most of the songs from that record. But I love that record now. Great record. It was a good Does one. Carlos Carlos Santana need to be on that record? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> did it, did it, did it probably okay. sell a bunch of extra records? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of smart, I guess, to get him on there. Yeah, you know, it was a good they put it on the first track and like got it over yeah, with so you can kind of way. move on. Yeah. yeah. But you know, of all the guitarists they could have got on, but you know, as you said, sold records. Right. Yeah. I, I was like, expecting I like him selling to records. Of, I was waiting for him to kind of walk out at Blue Note and kind of start guesting on Carl Santana. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe do like a cover version for an encore Santana song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I've got one more record. Okay. Contemporary. Okay. Ghana. Okay. You can probably guess what I'm talking about. Not the King Brothers, but... <laughs> <laughs> so King, King Isoba. This... Uh, that's the compilation, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's killer. a killer record. Hardcore punk. Totally. Uh, 100%. Really. You know, I mean, I'm, what what an amazing voice, like, ah, uh, unbelievable. You know, I, I, mean, I, 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 was, I was in a taxi. And he was driving? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like, like six months ago or so, like, I got a taxi back from the airport and, and like, right. you know, you know, again, it's some African guy, like, you know, you, right. you have to ask, like, where are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm from Ghana. And I'm like, Ghana, oh, yeah. do you know King Aisoba? And he's like, what? Yeah. He's like, why do you know King Aisoba? <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> uh, amazing. This is. Yeah, ba -ba. Yeah, ba -ba. yeah, I mean, it's a, there's a lot of kind of cool vocals on this record. He's got like various kind of tones, a lot of textures in the vocals. But uh, he plays. What does he play, Pete? What's the instrument? Tell me. Fill me oh, in. Oh, he plays uh, Kologo, Kologo music. <laughs> All right, that's it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah it's called Kologo music. Yeah. yeah. But like, he's the most kind of violent, wild sounding player. Definitely. Yeah, he's uncontrollable, for sure. And doesn't he have like his own bar? Am I, I right don't know saying? about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's that video of him like in Germany or something. And, like, he's just on the street in the morning, like outside his hotel. Have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, so good. All right. So good. I can't yeah, believe the so, yeah. didn't. Yeah, so everybody, we're talking about King Aisoba. This record is called 1000 Can Die. Top, That's a good top one. Recommendation, top recommendation. 100%. From, yeah, brilliant. that's a good record. Well, I'm I done. Got, I, got a, okay. I got a couple, couple more records. All right, show them, yeah. show them. Yeah, a couple more records. First one's Grandmaster Masese and Macadam. Oh, here we go. On Dagaretti Records. There you go. Yeah. Gotta Beautiful. get them from Kenya. Both good records. Grandmaster Masese, I, I guess I can say this now. Like yeah. I'm doing I'm doing a record for him soon. Cool. It's gonna be Grandmaster Masese and uh Brian Chippendale from Lightning Bolt is gonna be on it and a bunch of other people are gonna be on it too. LP. LP, LP. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I've got I've put in an order with I I um, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. What? I, I have to order a bunch of stuff from you. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, then, I will. 
also a good record. Yeah, that one. That's one of the ones that I need, but only if it's got two stickers. It's got two stickers, a patch, and a poster. Okay. And maybe a yeah. uh, phone number for a reputable taxi company. A lot of taxis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then this one, recorded in Kenya. My, cool. Me and my friends in Kenya with Boaz Jagingo. Oh. Who is just one of the greatest vocalists I think I've ever heard. So good. Damn. Yeah, and he plays this one string fiddle thing. But wow. Just a killer and then thing. Dave, Dave Sharp's the bassist, right? Yep. Dave's the bassist. Yeah. yeah. He's from here in town. Yeah. R runs a jazz club here in town. Wow. Yeah. So Dave Sharp World's nice. Dio Sasa. Amazing. That's a great, great cover. My son took this picture. Really? Yeah. He took all the pictures. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's me. Nice. There you are. There's Tomo, Classic folks. Couple gay. Wow. Colin, bunch of people. Nice. There you go, everybody. Put in an yeah. order. I'll link again down below. So, yeah. Pete, the last one minute, bust out the Nia TT. Give us a tune. Give us a little jam. And that will finish up. Okay. I got you. Let everybody hear. You'll see all my junk in the back. <laughs> this is going to work. That's it. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. That was long could probably do a part two of this, I reckon. Yeah, that'd be cool. At some point. Yeah, yeah. that was good. I enjoyed that. Singles. Oh, I don't have any. I, I do, only, but only the ones that you gave me. The one that That's broke? The one that broke and the other two or three, yeah. So, yeah. That's right. But uh, I, we could do like an, you know, I could show those Analog Africa records. And, you've got a whole bunch more, right? I've got the tons of stuff, yeah. Yeah, bunch of singles, maybe, maybe, we'll do a part, maybe we'll do a part two. That's cool. Point. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. That was a lot of fun. We, Thanks we for joining do, me. We got to do the stay clean thing. Yes. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Until next time, stay healthy and stay, stay clean. clean.